Watford chairman slams Hodgson and Foster's behavior before Hornets exits. Watford chairman Scott Duxbury has slammed goalkeeper Ben Foster and stuck the boot into former manager Roy Hodgson too. The Hornets endured a miserable campaign last time out, suffering relegation from the Premier League for the second time in three seasons. It was a torrid term that saw three different bosses in the dugout as the side lost 27 of their 38 league matches, shipping an average of two goals per game. Now, with the dust settled and a new manager appointed in the shape of Rob Edwards, Watford are looking to bounce straight back. But Duxbury could not resist, having a dig at two of his old employees, both of whom departed Vicarage Road at the end of the season. Foster, 39, came in for criticism for his online videos, which gave an insight into a club and dressing room that is not normally witnessed at the highest level. Duxbury, however, was not a fan of the candid clips. There are many things that occur during a season that are politically sensitive and that we can't discuss with fans in the way I would like to, the Vicarage Road chief told the Watford Observer. However, now the season is over, I'll say I think some of the videos were disappointing. Our sporting director, Cristiano Giretta, met with Ben and asked him to stop. He promised he would, but he didn't. He was fined. We want a culture of excellence at Watford. Those videos were not that. I wanted to say publicly at the time, that the videos were utterly wrong, and we had fined the player and asked him to stop, but it just wasn't something I could do. In future, player contracts will have clauses in them to make it clear that sort of behavior will not be permitted. As for Hodgson, who presided over just two wins in 18 games at the helm, he was also roundly criticized by Duxbury. The chairman's annoyance centers around an incident following Watford's 1-0 defeat away at Crystal Palace on May 7. That result confirmed the Hornets' relegation to the championship and, following the final whistle, ex-Palace chief Hodgson was slammed by fans unhappy that, instead of applauding them, he went over to acknowledge the home supporters. The former England manager said at the time, if they, Watford fans, saw that as a snub, I apologize, it definitely wasn't meant that way. Was Roy Hodgson in the wrong? Have your say in the comments, but Duxbury remains unconvinced, adding, I did try, after that had happened, to allude in my program notes to things that had happened which were beyond my belief. Even if, as a person, your heart belongs at another club, you are still the coach of Watford. You've just finished a match which has seen you relegated, and you ignore your own fans? No, you must go to your own fans and your own players. Words failed me. I've known Roy for many years, and I was surprised and disappointed, but I suppose we must accept, if not truly understand, his explanation.